Welcome to The Great Wendy Way. I will be bringing you the biggest in Broadway news this week. First up, for the Into the Woods movie adaption, A-lister Meryl Streep has already been cast, and now Jake Gyllenhaal and Chris Pine may not be so far behind. The two Hollywood hunks are currently in talks to portray Cinderella's Prince and Rapunzel's Prince, respectively, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Johnny Depp is also reportedly in talks to play the wolf, not the baker, as originally speculated, though nothing at this time has been confirmed. A reading last year teased Anna Kendrick as Cinderella and Laura Osnes as Rapunzel, though no further casting has been announced at this time. The Tony-nominated play The Assemble Parties is scheduled to run three weeks later than originally planned. The Richard Greenberg production, currently up for the Tony for Best Play, will not end on June 16th as originally planned, but will play until July 7th. The show stars Judith Light, Jeremy Shamos, and Jessica Hecht, and chronicles the lives of a Jewish family during the holidays, first in 1980 and later in 2000. It plays at the Samuel J. Friedman Theater. Shows like Smash, Go On, and The New Normal, starring our Broadway favorites, have been canceled for next season, but one Broadway star is coming to HBO, and that's Jonathan Groff. Groff's gay-themed comedy taking place in San Francisco has officially been picked up for eight episodes for next season. On television, Groff is best known for playing Jesse St. James on Glee and is a very familiar face on Broadway, known for his role as Melchior in Spring Awakening. Groff is also slated to portray Craig in the movie adaption of The Normal Heart next year. No premiere date for the HBO pilot has been set. Broadway favorite and Big Fish star Norbert Leo Butts can now add Doctor to his title. The Webster University alum gave the school's commencement speech on May 11th and was awarded with an honorary Doctor of Humane Letters degree. Webster University posted photos to their Instagram account of the memorable occasion. Butts graduated from Webster as a Bachelor of Fine Arts in 1990 and received an outstanding alumni award from the school in the year 2000. Butts is best known for his roles as Fierro in Wicked, Jamie in the last five years, and his Tony award-winning performances as Freddy in Dirty Rotten Scoundrels and Carl Hanratty in Catch Me If You Can. And spoiler alert, another Broadway favorite is coming to television. In Monday's How I Met Your Mother season finale, once alum Kristen Milioti was revealed as the mother. Milioti made her Broadway debut in 2006 as an understudy for The Lieutenant of Inishmore and went on to play Alice in Corum Boy and eventually her Tony-nominated role as Girl in the Tony award-winning musical Once. Off-Broadway, she has appeared in Crooked and Stunning in addition to several others. Also concerning How I Met Your Mother, it was recently announced that the entire ninth season will take place over Barney and Robin's wedding weekend. More of Milioti can undoubtedly be seen on the next season of the show. And the circus-themed Broadway favorite Pippin could be coming to a town near you. It was announced that for the 2014-2015 season, the show will launch a U.S. national tour. Their production is slated to begin its tour in September 2014 in Denver, Colorado. No additional cities or dates have been announced, but the musical currently plays full-time at the Music Box Theater in New York City. It is the circus-themed, stunt and magic-filled musical about a young prince's journey to find his purpose in life. Also scheduled to tour during the 2014-2015 season is the rebooted revival of Rodgers and Hammerstein's Cinderella, currently playing at the Broadway Theater. With Pippin and Cinderella scheduled to begin a national tour, I want to ask you, which show currently on Broadway would you like to see in your hometown? Let me know on Twitter, Tumblr, or Facebook, and I will pick my favorites and let you know in next Monday's The Great Wendy Way. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to tune in on Monday for the latest going on on Broadway.